Hello everyone, a very good afternoon to all of you. How are you all doing? Great. Nice. So welcome to Swiftlearn online classes. As you already know that Swiftlearn is the India's most sincere learning destination for classes 1 to 10. Over here, all the classes are 100% live and interactive classes. So if you have any sort of doubt regarding the topic, you can ask it to your teacher and the teacher will explain everything to you in the classes only. Fine. Now coming to the second thing which we have is maximum six students are there in each of our batches which help the student to ask any sort of doubt. Everything will be cleared in the class only and the teacher can also uh, keep an eye how the students are progressing, where they are lagging, in which parameter they have to improve and all and definitely you will get the feedback. This will help you to improve a lot right coming to the third thing which we have that is a very good dedicated academic mentor we have who continuously keep a track on the students progress so how you are again doing in the classroom homework in which topic you are going uh, good enough in which topic you need practice so everything will be tracked and you will get the feedback and according to that ptm will be there and with the ptm definitely you will get the feedback and you have to you will be able to improve hi sneha how are you now coming to the fourth thing that is we cover the syllabus as per your school examination schedule. This is very important because you sometimes have uh, some of the topics which you have already done in the school and you are uh, those topics are coming basically in your school exam but we have not done it yet right. It may happen. So you can tell it to us. We will do those topics first and then we will move on to the rest of the topic. Right. So this type of custom request generally we handle. So these are the general features of SwiftLearn. And let us now see what are the key features of SwiftLearn. So among all the different key features, the first one is we maintain a progress report, a detailed progress report of each and every student. So what is happening in progress report? How are you doing class? How are you doing in class? understanding capacity? How are you doing your competitive approach? How are you regularly homework or not? And how much time you are taking to do the homework? Whether you are doing all the different practice tests uh, and all or not? And everything, which topics you are lagging and in which topic you were totally perfect so you already have the concept so everything will come in this progress report and this will go to you in a certain interval like every month or uh, in the uh, one month uh, alternatively so this will help you to understand ki Kaise chal rahe hai? And also there will be the PTM, jaise aapke school mein bhi PTM rehta hai, idhar bhi PTM hota hai, jaha parents humare saath directly involve ho sakta hai, directly unka bhi uh, thoughts, the fee uh, feedback, everything share kar sakta hai and definitely we will uh, solve all your problems, right? So this is the very important thing. Coming to the second thing that is the SwiftLearn Academic Test Series, jo hum uh, short mein. Sats kehte hai. It happens in every Saturday, uh, Sunday. So uh, it happens in like uh, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. where you will be able to perform over there and your rank will be given on the leaderboard according to your name. Okay. Hi Anjali. Chalo. Now let's move on to the most uh, important feature that is the practice test. We have a lot of different practice tests, assessment, mock test. Um, uh, both subjective and uh, objective test series are there. So what you have to do after completing each and every topic of all the subjects, you can go over there and you can solve the question answers. Just you know already that you will solve the question answers, so you will have the concept clear hoga and you will never lose any marks in your school exam. And if you are in class 10th, definitely board exam may be, you will never lose any marks. So either uh, objectives may man lo ki uh, true false match the column, MCQ sort of question, choose the correct answer. These are the different types of questions which comes uh, in the objective test and subjective may three marks or five marks ka question. Uh, questions right there just uh, like school may be at a board exam may be at so we generally prepare the children according to their school exam and the board exam right hi kum kum how are you good afternoon so over here you will be able to solve all this question answer and definitely Aapka agar koi doubt ho ya fir hum, uh, we have a good group of teacher who will check your uh, enroll your name in the uh, regular batches fine Hi, Kum Kum. Okay, so uh, let us now um, 
like remind uh, whoever has not subscribed and place the bell icon so that you will never miss any of the session of the upcoming uh, like any you will never miss any of the upcoming sessions right so uh, every day we will meet in 2 pm and definitely you will be able to discuss all the different topics in the chat box if you have any doubt definitely please write it in the chat box i am always there to solve everything okay so do not forget to like comment and share also so let us now move on to the topic of today. Hi, Babita. Okay. So yeah, as you already know that we were uh, we have already started the topic pollination and fertilization, which is there in ICSC board of class 9th syllabus. So pollination ke baare mein, what are the different types of pollination? Usi ka different subtypes kya hai and the different things we have already studied in the previous session. Do you remember? Yes, if you were not present in the previous session, you can see the video. Okay, you can go and see the video. Video will be available in the uh, YouTube channel of Swiftlearn. Okay, now coming to this one today, we will uh, mainly discuss the about the fertilization of plant. Okay, so how the sexual reproduction takes place. First, uh, hota hai pollination ka, or second step hota hai fertilization ka right so we have already discussed in previous session remember so pollination humne already par chuke hai aur aaj ke session mein hum mainly fertilization mein focus karenge so we will mainly discuss about what is fertilization and how the process of fertilization takes place in the flooding flood so you already know i guess that uh, where does this sexual reproduction takes place quickly give me the answer like um, what type of plants basically show the sexual reproduction quickly give me the answer in the chat box and as you already know that at the end of the session i'll write your name who will be the student of the session kaun hoga student of the session jo sabse zyada answer mujhe chat box mein denge right chalo so in which plants basically we uh, which type of plant we basically see this fertilization and the sexual type of reproduction give it to me in the chat box the answer then we will study about the different types of fertilization kyunki is tarike ka fertilization hota hai plant mein that we will discuss then we will move on to the double fertilization process bahut important process hai ye you definitely will get the question of 5 marks Along with the diagram of double fertilization, this uh, topic is very, 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 very important. ठीक है तो very uh, carefully इसको समझना समझना होगा, okay? And then we will move on to the triple fusion. ये double fertilization के अंदर ही आएगा. And then we will move on to the fate of the different flowering. Parts or the floral parts, whose fate या फिर destiny finally क्या होता है when the flower will become the fruits, right? Chalo. So before going to the topic, have you ever seen that there are a lot of different types of allergens, yes, which causes allergy in the human being, yes. Or usi me sabse important ya fir sabse khatarnat allergen hota hai pollen grains. Have you ever seen anybody having the allergy uh, symptoms when coming in contact with the flower? Yes. Do you think that it is due to the like uh, the smell of the flower or anything other than a pollen grain no so this allergy like the sneezing watery eyes these are the different symptoms uh, which are due to the allergic reaction okay allergic reaction with the human body with the pollen grains so pollen grains se bahut sare logo ka allergy hota hai okay now do you know what is the importance of this pollen grain ye to pollen grain se allergy hota hai ye to bad side ho gaya ya fir disadvantage ho gaya to iska advantage uh, advantage kya hai yes why do you think this pollen grains are basically important for the plants quickly give me the answer yes babita kumkum sneha anjali yes so its main role is reproduction. Mein, okay, the plant reproduction may, ya fir, uh, mainly the flowering. To be very specific, flowering plants may ye sexual reproduction hota hai, and in this flowering plant, the pollen grains play a vital role in the process of reproduction. We will see today how it creates a uh, it 
creates uh, so much effect on the flowering plant so before going to the reproduction or the sexual reproduction of plant directly uh, we will see a video okay try to understand with the help of the video then to i am always there to explain it to you okay In this video, we will be looking at sexual reproduction in plants. Did you know that there are an estimated 390,900 plant species known to science? This diversity of plant species is in part due to sexual reproduction. In plants, sexual reproduction is carried out in the flowers. The flowers contain the sexual organs. Let's start with labeling the different parts of a flower. The petals and the sepals help protect the flower bud and can be brightly colored or scented to attract pollinators. The stem and the receptacle are the parts that connect the flower to the rest of the plant. The stamen is the male part of the flower. It consists of an anther where pollen is produced and the filament which is the stalk that supports the anther. These structures are responsible for the production and the positioning of pollen, the male gamete. The female part of the flower is called the carpel and this consists of three parts, the stigma, a sticky landy for pollen, the style, where the pollen grain descends and the ovary, where the female gametes or sex cells are located. Within the ovary, ovules produce female gametes. So how does pollination work? Pollination is a transfer of pollen from the male anther of one flower to the female stigma of another. Flowers can be pollinated in different ways, by wind and water or by pollinators such as insects, birds and other animals. Flowers pollinated by pollinators are structurally different from those pollinated by wind or water. Look at the differences in size, scent and colour of the petals and the positioning of the stamen and style. Here are some key differences. Why do you think they are different? Did you know that pollinators are very important to our food supply? They pollinate plants that are responsible for bringing us one out of every three bites of food. Once a plant has been pollinated, fertilization can occur. Fertilization results in the production of seeds. A mature pollen grain containing two male sex cells has landed on the female stigma of the same species. The pollen grain grows a pollen tube that goes down the female style to the ovary, where it enters through an opening called the micropyle. The male sex cells travel from the pollen grain down to the pollen tube to the female ovule. Year one male sex cell fuses with the female egg, fertilizing it. This develops into a seed. The other male sex cell attaches to two cells in the embryo sac, forming an endosperm. This provides the starchy food for the seed to grow. The ovary enlarges and becomes a fruit, surrounding the internal seeds. The fruit and seeds are dispersed in many ways some even by humans, where they will again grow into a new plant under the correct conditions, completing the long cycle of sexual reproduction in plants. So there we have sexual reproduction in plants. Pollination has to happen before fertilization. The male pollen is produced in the anther, where it is then dispersed during pollination. The female parts of the flower are the stigma, style and the ovary. Please like and share our video. Yes, so you have got an idea how it is happening. Yes. Okay. Now let's move on to the different parts of the plant, right? So you already know that the part of the plant is the two main parts. First one is the stem and another one is the root, right? So in the stem, there are the different uh, parts like the fruits and the fl uh, flowers also grow. Now we will mainly focus on the different parts of the flower. So what are the different parts of the flower? 
yes what are the four different parts of the flower who will tell me mainly we can divide it into four parts that is calyx corolla andrisium and gynaecium right calyx corolla andrisium and gynaecium these are the four main parts of a flower Okay, so flowering plants generally come under the group of angiosperm. You already know, yes. So all these four are very much important for the reproduction process. But mainly, this androecium is the male part of the reproductive part of the flower, and the gynaecium is the female reproductive part of the flower, which both of them are very important for the process of the sexual reproduction. Okay. But in case of the um, calyx and corolla, what happened? The calyx and corolla do not take direct pa uh, part in the process of pollination, but they basically helps in indirectly in the process of pollination. So we will mainly find out what are the different parts and how they take part in the process of pollination and fertilization or reproduction to be very specific in the flowering plant. So as I have already mentioned that the male gametes and female gametes are produced in the male part and the female part of a flower which is the male part. Male part of the flower is the stamen which contain the two part that is the anther and the filament and the female part is known as the pistil we can also call it as the carpel which has the stigma style and ovary. Yes. Now, let us see these parts very carefully with the help of a 3D model. Okay. See, this is the flower. Okay. So, you can see that the yellow colored structure which are basically covering the different male and the female parts are from uh, which are basically brightly colored parts. These are known as the petals. Yes. You can see that the very small, small greenish leafy like structure which are present below the petals are known as the calyx or the sepals. Understood? Next, we can see the second one. This one is known as the stamen. Stamen means this is the male reproductive part having the anther at the top where the main pollen grains are formed and this stalk is known as the filament. Fine. Now, coming to the third one, this is the stigma. Stigma means where the pollen grains will come and join with the female reproductive structure. So, this is the whole female reproductive structure which we generally call as the pistil or we can also call it as the carpel which contain the three main parts that is stigma, the long stalk that is the style and the bulge like structure which is known as the ovary. So, the sixth position which is it is showing the bulge like structure is known as the ovary and within the ovary the ovules are present. Okay, and always remember within the ovules the female gamete is present. What is the female gamete over here? It is known as the egg. Okay, so the egg cells are present within each of the ovules. Up to this much clear? Hai? Yes. Now let us move on to the slides. Yes, so this is all about the structure of the flower. We have already got an idea ki what are the different parts of the flower are there and what are the reproductive parts of the flower. Mainly, the male reproductive part is known as the stamen and the female reproductive part is known as the ovary. Uh, sorry, carpal. Right now, what happens after the pollination? So, pollination matlab kya hai? Anybody can you please tell me what do you mean by pollination, which we have already studied in the previous session? That is the transfer of the pollen grains from the anther to the stigma of the flower. It can happen in the same 